breaking news on AT&T and Time Warner. Sue? And here's what's happening, Mike. The U.S. Justice Department is going to appeal the AT&T Time Warner merger approval. They have filed the notice of appeal in federal court. The Justice Department is basically appealing the court's loss on the AT&T Time Warner merger. We can see that AT&T is down just under a percent in today's trading session so far. We don't have any more details other than that, but the Justice Department is going to appeal the approval of the AT&T Time Warner merger. Back to you guys. Sue Herrera, Sue, thank you. Julia Borston with us from Sun Valley covers the stock. I think you're talking to the AT&T CEO tomorrow. I mean, this is, wasn't the, didn't Judge Leon specifically warn the government not to do this in his ruling? in favor of the deal? Yes, absolutely, Sarah. This is a huge surprise because Judge Leon's ruling was so clear and definitive um, in ruling in favor of this merger. There were a number of potential outcomes in the way that Judge Leon could have ruled um, on, this, on this suit and on this deal, but he made it very clear that he was approving this merger with no conditions. And that's what was so that's what makes this so surprising, because if he had ruled with conditions, if he had raised questions, it would have opened the door for a lawsuit. And so that's why I'm, I'm so shocked by this news. I am scheduled to sit down with Randall Stevenson tomorrow morning at 8.15 a.m. Eastern. I would suspect he would be surprised by this as oh, well. Yeah. And I think a lot of the media CEOs here would be shocked. I mean, I've been hearing from a lot of folks here that that AT&T Time Warner deal going through really indicates that it's open season for M&A right now and there shouldn't be regulatory concerns. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, I mean, also, Julia, isn't this a company that has already plowed forward with the combination of AT&T and Time Warner. We've had a number of reports of some of those insider deal. meetings, yeah, sure. you know, the, to the new HBO team from the boss. I mean, this is already in progress. Yes, this is, the integration is moving forward. You've seen a rearranging of executives. Um, you have John Stanky taking over. You've seen town halls um, talking about the future of AP, HBO, discussions about whether HBO is gonna have to create a higher volume of content. Um, to help in the efforts to go direct to consumer. So this merger is, has happened. Um, and, and I'm sort of specifically I'm using the past tense of that. And now the integration is underway. So uh, this, is, this is pretty surprising. Yeah, I mean, Julia, going into today, in fact, there were some reports that there was disagreement on the government side as to whether, in fact, to go ahead with uh, an appeal. Uh, now, the judge sort of specifically said, don't you dare uh, kind of apply for an injunction of this ruling. So the, the deal did manage to close. And I guess the question now is going to be on what basis are they going to appeal this? What element of his ruling are they going to pick at uh, to say that it should be overturned? Yeah, I'll be really curious to hear that, Mike. And I also think it's worth noting, you know, because this was a vertical merger, there wasn't really so much precedent for challenging this type of deal. And Randall Stevenson repeatedly said that he always felt like they had um, sort of every legal precedent to go forward with this deal. Um, and then when we saw Judge Leon's ruling without requiring that they sell any of their assets and really closing the door on the potential for challenges to his ruling, um, you know, I think he was trying to prevent this from happening. And so that's why the, the merger and the integration of the companies is already well underway. A lot of questions for the government, for the head of the antitrust division, how they're going to appeal, on what basis, why, Julia, and what it could mean for the rest of the sector, which, as you've been reporting for days, is actively involved right now in deal merger talks. Yeah, absolutely. I think whatever happens next is going to have huge ripple effects, just like the AT&T and Time Warner deal had huge ripple effects. I mean, as soon as that Department of Justice, um, you know, that lawsuit and the ruling came through um, from Judge Leon, that's when Comcast decided to go through and put in that official bid for Fox. That's what set that off. Comcast got the indication that if at and Time Warner can go through with no conditions, then they had every ability to go forward and pursue um, those acquis that acquisition of those Fox Entertainment assets. So a lot of things have already happened because of Judge Leon's decision, and that's mm. why this is so shocking. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.